Because you might have to get up in the yard, wouldn't it? Well, he said to me, Ron, how many dollars has he got? I said, oh, well, I've got to boost it up. Yeah. I said, yeah, I think you've run to about 20 in our happy days. We're in no shortage here then. It's a, it's a, it's a not your removals in the duck. The thing is, the other job is, also, we do the Sunday, we can bring fruit and veg back yeah. as well. Cool, because they want fruit and veg for their cash and carry. Yeah. We've, uh, we've, we've got, got it all. The plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got it all. We've got a lot. Yeah. You know. We can hit the jackpot, mate, yeah? We've got the this corona in it. Well, you're going to talk about the terminal. So you, you just phone me tonight and tell me how much holiday is. You just phone me tonight and say that holiday is such and such. Yeah, that's what I do. I use the exact yeah. words. Right. But keep it down as clear. Of course. Yeah. I've said that to you, didn't yeah. I? Yeah, you, you know. Did. This is Discuss It Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Thank you to everybody that watched the Netherlands story yesterday and I'll be doing a follow up later on tonight. This first story is about EncroChat and three men aged between 64 and 73 have been jailed for their involvement in trying to orchestrate the importation of 55 kilos of Class A drugs. This story definitely highlights the false perception that every criminal has a get out plan before a certain age because every criminal asks himself when is the right time to stop and you could also say when is the right age and that is a very difficult question because there are many reasons people stay committing crime into their late 50s, 60s and 70s. And in this story, three men plotted to import the drugs via their removal firm and they were convicted in court and jailed today. Mark Yule, 64, from clacton on sea in Essex, conspired along with Alfred Rumbold, 65, from Orpington in Kent, and the removal van driver Brian Wright, 73, from Folkestone, to import the 55 kilos of cocaine in the spring and summer of 2020. They were unaware that they were subject to a covert investigation by the NCA, and the officers were tracing their movements and recording their conversations. During the period of the conspiracy, the trio had meetings with a Merseyside based organised crime group and they arranged to import the drugs is there was lining up buyers for when they imported it so that they wasn't left with all these drugs and no one to purchase them. In a rare example the NCA have released the listening devices that they put inside a cafe in Kent in July 2020. The police heard the trio discussing border controls and Yule told Rumbold and Wright that we're gonna hit the jackpot and they said we're gonna make mega fucking dough. The previous day, Wright had returned from conducting a dummy run where he took the lorry to the Netherlands and made a series of notes around border checks and the security and put them on his phone. The following week, Wright made the run for real and he collected the drugs and they were sealed inside fish tanks. However, a joint operation involving the NCA and Dutch law enforcement resulted in a raid just outside Jutrecht. Wright was asleep inside the cab at the time when the police arrested him. The drugs were found inside the hiding place and the Dutch police recovered 20 kilos of heroin, 32 kilos of cocaine, 3 kilos of MDMA and the NCA said the haul would have been worth £4.5 million on the streets of the UK. At the same time, NCA officers moved in on Yule and Rumbold and arrested them at their home addresses. Phones that were seized were encrypted, EncroChat and also Sky ECC. And this is where they started to realise that for the whole time they'd been under surveillance. At no point during the conspiracy were the police not aware of what was going on and this must have led from EncroChat being hacked. EncroChat messages revealed to the police that they were discussing moving drugs across Europe and that both Yule, Rumbold and Wright were all part of the conspiracy. They denied the charges and said they was only seeking to smuggle alcohol, cigarettes, tobacco and cannabis. The truck driver Wright was extradited from the Netherlands and denied any knowledge of the drugs and claimed that he was just transporting furniture. But following a seven-week trial at Oldsworth Crown Court, all three men were found guilty. They will be sentenced on the 26th of November and the NCA Regional Head of Investigations Peter Stevens said this conspiracy involved a significant amount of drugs that were destined for the streets of the UK and they would have been distributed by criminal gangs. 
And I'm sure that none of these men thought that when they was in their 70s, they'd be facing several years in prison. So it really does make you assess what you are doing with your life. In some other news coming from the UK, a lorry driver has been charged in connection to a 418 kilo haul of cocaine that was discovered by Border Force on its way to the UK. The Polish truck driver was charged with smuggling Class A drugs and would appear in court on the 13th of December. And this was hidden inside onion rings as well, which again highlights the intricate ways that people will try to import drugs into the country. Another big seizure, four million pound, that was seized this month in Avon mouth ducks. This is Avon and Somerset Police. As part of an NCA operation, the officers moved in to a vessel on the 9th of November. The boat was carrying fruit juice that was coming from the south of Brazil. Police seized 46 kilos of cocaine and recovered them from what investigators believe was a secret hideout inside the hull of the vessel. And you also need to understand there's thousands of these coming into the country every single day. And of course, everybody's familiar with drugs being imported into the country. But a story that has gained interest in the past few months is people smuggling. A London-based crime group who tried to smuggle 70 Albanian migrants into the UK in a dilapidated fishing boat have been convicted for their crime. They was bringing in approximately 50 migrants every single week. And the boat was intercepted off the coast of Norfolk on the 17th of November last year. The boat was over 60 years old and it had a lifeboat for just 20 people and couldn't support everyone that was on there. It was heading for Great Yarmouth and it was escorted into Harwich International Port by the NCA. The vessel, which had been purchased in Latvia for around £20,000 in October 2020, ran aground for a second time and Belgium authorities had to rescue migrants from the sea. Three crew members from the Ukraine and also Latvia were arrested by the NCA on facilitating illegal immigration. The 69 migrants were handed to immigration enforcement and NCA investigators seized the laptop from the vessel that enabled them to identify UK-based gang members that were orchestrating the attempts. The police later went on to make more arrests in Newham and also Great Yarmouth and Norfolk. Messages were also found between the three men discussing the plans to invest in a boat for the purpose of smuggling more people. So this goes to show the incentives for why people try to get to the country and also the money that people make trying to bring people in. Please don't forget to follow me online as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and TikTok. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more. Peace.